Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah, if this is your first time here. So if this is your first time watching, if this is your first time ever seeing my face, one, sorry that this lighting is super horrible today. Like I don't really know like what's going on. And two, um, just some brief background quickly before we get into all the jazz is I am a student at the Fashion Institute of Technology. I have a few different videos about FIT, my experience at FIT thus far and I will leave that playlist in the description so you can check out some of those other videos because those might answer some more questions you might be having on just the college in general. This video is going to be very specific towards my major which is cosmetics and fragrance marketing. If you check out those other videos those are going to be a little bit more on the college in general and my other major which was fashion business management. So just so you know after you're done with this video if you want to hear a little bit more about FIT and my experience and everything like that check out the link in the description and you'll find a few more other videos. Videos. Second, I am, I would say, like a content creator. I, I wouldn't call myself an influencer, but I make YouTube videos, not as much anymore, just because I'm trying to figure out what my flow is with that. But I am very consistent on Instagram, which you can find me at, at Mariah Elise Makeup, and I do really dope makeup looks. I do some tutorials here and there. So check out my Instagram there, give it a follow if you're interested. I post a lot about what I do in my major. A lot of times on my stories, I'll post what I'm doing in my classes or some of the chemistry stuff that we're doing. So if you wanna see a little bit more behind the scenes, Definitely follow me on Instagram. With that being said, we're going to jump into the video about my major, which is cosmetics and fragrance marketing here at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. First things first, if you don't know anything about me, if you've never watched any of my videos, if you've never watched my previous FIT videos, um, I'm just going to give a brief background on how FIT works when it comes to your majors and the programs and everything like that. So FIT is a SUNY school, which is a state university of New York, which means if you're a New York State resident, it's considered a public school. Definitely go through FIT's website if you're interested in going to FIT, because you can find so much information on there. Secondly, FIT is a 2 plus 2 school, so that means when you first apply to FIT, right out of high school or maybe you took a wait uh, maybe you took a few gap years out of high school you've never been to college or anything like that it's a two plus two school when you apply to fit you're applying for your associate's degree so your first two years here at fit you're going to be completing your associate's degree um so some majors are only for your bachelor's some you can do in associates and bachelor's and some majors are just associates like there's so many different things so to give you a brief background my associates i did my first two years in fashion business management i loved business i thought i was going to love the major i personally love business i love marketing i love all of that i just didn't like the concentration in fashion i wasn't passionate about fashion so after my two years, I graduated with my associates in fashion business management, which was last May. I'm a junior now, and um, it comes up to that time where you have to reapply to the school for your last two years, which is your bachelor's. Now, fashion business management, I could have done for my last two years as my bachelor's program. I could have switched to a different program. I could have switched to AMC, which is Advertising and Marketing Communications. I could have switched to different things. I knew I wanted to get into cosmetics and fragrance marketing, and it's a bachelor's only program. So you can't come to FIT wanting to do it for your associates. As of right now, it's only been a bachelor's program. So you have to pick something else for your first two years. I personally would recommend either fashion business management as your first two years, or advertising and marketing communications as your first two years for your associates if you're interested in cosmetics and fragrance marketing just because those two um, it's a seamless flow into the major you get a lot of background using Excel and some business strategies you already know a little bit about marketing so it's a definitely easier transition when you go from like that business into more business whether if you're coming from like fashion design and then you want to switch to like cosmetics and fragrance it's going to be a little bit different fashion business management definitely helps me a lot with certain classes because I already knew marketing, I already knew how to use Excel, I already knew some of those basic functions that we use in cosmetics and fragrance marketing. You can also come as a transfer student, that in mind. I don't know how that works for transfer students because I know you have to have some class, there's some prereqs before you apply to um, cosmetics and fragrance marketing. So I won't know, I don't know how that exactly applies, but you can definitely call the school and find out more information about all of that. Okay, so how to get in this, I been talking about this it's a bachelor's only program it's also a very competitive major so when you're already in FIT like I said before if you're already here for your associates it's easier for you to get in 
than if you're coming from the outside just applying to cosmetics and fragrance. For us, when I switched from fashion business management to cosmetics, they literally told me, they were like, which made, it was literally a form. I just filled out a form online. It was like, because I was an FIT student already, it was like, which major do you want to apply to? I chose cosmetics and fragrance marketing. That was it. I just clicked the button. I said submit. That was it. And then like two months later, they sent me an email saying, congratulations, you were accepted. So for FIT students, um, when you transition from that associates into your bachelor's, you don't have to write an essay. You don't have to submit your grades. You're already an FIT student. They can already look up how you're doing. Um, you don't have to submit transcripts, any of that. Another thing is that because it is really competitive, they only accept 25 students a year. So in total, there's only 50 students in this major. Um, I'll get into like the pros and cons of that a little bit later. But in my class, my graduating class, there's 25 of us. So it's really niche, 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 niche. It's a very small major. Um, it's very specific. All right, so we're going to talk about classes. So like I was saying before, um, since the major is very small and there's only 25 people, you get to know everyone. Like like you have the same classes with them, you basically have the same schedule as them. Um, so it's really great because you really form connections, you really, that's gonna help you when you have to network uh, and get jobs and internships. You really, really know everyone in your major, which is so great. So I'm gonna tell you guys the classes that I took this past semester. Another thing that I wanna mention is that if you are interested in this major or you're trying to figure out which majors you're interested in, you can go to the FIT website and explore the majors and you can also look at the curriculum. So they lay out every single class that you will be taking every semester. Last semester was my first semester in the program so it was a lot of intro classes not necessarily diving into my major right away yet it was just kind of like let's get the basics let's do let's lay down the foundation you know what I mean so the first class was cosmetics and fragrance marketing and that's just overall cosmetics and fragrance marketing um, it was a really good class um, if you are here you're gonna have the same professor. That class was really cool. It was just like the basics of marketing, the basics of the beauty industry, um, the business side of it. We did some really cool presentations. Our final presentation was create, um, was picking a recently acquired brand and creating a new pro product to launch. All the marketing, all the financials, everything you can think of for a product launch. We created a little mini commercial, all that stuff. Um, another thing is we went on a field trip to Influencer, which I love Influencer. If you follow me on Instagram, I get boxes from them all the time. They even gave us these cute little notebooks and pens when we went. It was so cute. They had a full spread of breakfast for us. They taught us about their brand and how they work and some insights they have. You're always going to be going on field trips because we're very hands-on in the industry and a lot of the professors have connections. The other class I took, it was just I had to get like an English credit. So I took a speech dynamic group communication. And that was cool because we made our own curriculum. Um, every student picked a topic they wanted to present to the class. We all had to vote that we liked that topic and we wanted to hear about that topic. And then every week there was two new presenters and we held a class discussion. Literally that was it. There was no tests, no like nothing, no projects, nothing. I also had to take um, math modeling for business applications, which I have to say guys, the math here is not that hard. Don't stress. I took statistics last year, literally got a hundred in it. Really good. I personally don't mind math. I've also taken merchandising math. You have the formulas to everything. Um, and the professors here are really good. You can always get help if needed. It was interesting. It was really basic. My professor was so chill about it. I'm personally someone who enjoys math, so it wasn't really anything too crazy for me. Another class that we had to take is information systems. We learned a lot more about Excel, how to use Excel. Um, this one is catered for our major as well. So it's we only learn about applications that are related in the beauty industry, that is used in the beauty industry. Um, so we don't learn a bunch of nonsense that you're never going to take out of the classroom. We did some basics of Excel, we did some basics of you know learning how to use Access, we did uh, PowerPoint, and we also did a little bit of Photoshop. So it was super easy, the class was chill. And then the last class I had to take was Chemistry for Cosmetics and Fragrance, which is basically organic chemistry. So I took organic chemistry in high school, and I did fairly good in it, so I did good in this chemistry. Um, you only take one chemistry class, and it's basically just to lay the foundation of like how chemistry is, the basics of like how some products are made, just so you kind of know the understanding of products and how they work. You don't necessarily talk too much about cosmetics, but you just you just tie it in here and there. We also did a presentation on something, obviously chemistry related, um, but was tied into cosmetics. So 
I presented on hyaluronic acid and what is it? Like you hear hyaluronic acid all the time, it's in every product, but is it actually good for your skin? Do we actually know what it is? So I did so much research on hyaluronic acid and then we, at the end of the year everyone presented um, what they researched. And there's a lot you don't know about hyaluronic acid that really shook me. Um, like one fact quickly is our bodies actually naturally produce hyaluronic acid um, in our tissues and in our umbilical cords when we're first born. It's also in the Wharton's jelly. Our bodies naturally produce hyaluronic acid. It's there to, you know, prevent the, the, the rubbing between joints and it's in your tissues and it's really good like lubricant and that's why it's used in cosmetics. Um, it also attracts water molecules which is why you put on your skin and it's good for hydration because it's going to attract water molecules to that area and you're going to have a hydrated look so that's just a fun little quick session clearly um my tuition dollars are paying off because i'm learning something so those are all the classes i took so the level of difficulty honestly i could even say this for my previous major which was fashion business management i've never struggled. I've never felt like I'm up till 3 a.m. studying. I've never felt pressured. I definitely have to say last semester being in chemistry um, that is a little bit harder, that does take a little bit more studying. So that was definitely something I would say out of all of my classes last semester that took the most effort. Everything else is pretty easy. We're not up studying from textbooks late at night. We're very hands-on school. We're very you know, group projects oriented. So we do a lot of group projects. The professors at FIT, I love all of the professors at FIT. They're super, super knowledgeable. They work in the industry either now or previously. Um, so they have a lot of connections and you need to, if you come to FIT, use your time wisely um, and really build connections with your professors because they're ultimately going to be helping you out and giving you connections for different jobs and internships and all these really cool things. Like I said before, they take us on cool field trips because they're friends with a lot of people. Next, I'm going to be talking about just the program in general. Another great thing about the Cosmetics and Fragrance Marketing Program is that your senior year, the department hooks you up with a mentor, an executive mentor it is called. You are paired up with someone in the industry. You tell them what you want to go into. So like me, I want to go into the product development of color cosmetics. That's something I'm interested in. They're fully aware of that. So my senior year, they'll find someone in the industry who is in product development of color cosmetics and they will be my mentor for my senior year and they will work with me they'll help me find internships and kind of like helping you i don't know too much about it because i'm not a senior yet i've heard so much about it and it's really great i've heard from past students students who are in it now that it's super helpful and they really really help you we also have our own club on campus cosmetics and fragrance marketing association so we meet once a week and we get some guest speakers. We've had some of the guest speakers from Tarte come in. We've also had some alumni come back and talk to us, some of them that work for Bath & Body Works, and we've had some influencers come in and talk to us. And We have a little bit of everything. We get some guest speakers. We do some fun projects. We volunteer. A lot of fun. It's a great way. You don't have to be in the major to go to the club. So let's say you're new to FIT, you're in advertising and marketing communications for your first two years because, like I said, you can't be in cosmetics yet. You can still come to the cosmetics. Cosmetics and Fragrance Marketing Association, build your name up, you'll get you'll meet the chairperson of the program, show an interest, and really get to see what um, the club is like, what the major is gonna be like, and hear more from people in the industry as guest speakers, so you kind of know like is it something for you. And you can follow them on Instagram. I'll like leave them here. Um, our program, um, Cosmetics and Fragrance Marketing, actually has an Instagram account you guys can follow. It's at FIT Fragrance. I will leave it everything here and in the description. Um, and you can give them a follow and they post a lot about things that we do in the class and our guest speakers that come in so you can get a good gist of what goes on. Like I was saying before, because the professors are in the industry and they're very well aware, there's a lot of opportunities that are given to us for volunteering and helping out and things like that. So it's really great because we do get a lot of emails on like, here's a new event happening, like you can volunteer for it. There's a bunch of fun things, so they're always giving you so many opportunities to network and it's so huge here at FIT, everyone is networking with each other. Another thing that I want to touch on is that we do have a study abroad program. Unfortunately, it is just a summer program for two weeks. It's not like a semester abroad. So for two weeks in the summer, you apply to it, of course, like when you're more in the major, you'll hear more about this, but it would be your junior year. In the summer, you go for two weeks when school finishes. It's a class, so beforehand you write a paper and then after you come back from abroad, you have to write another paper. But it's two weeks and you go to London, Paris, and Milan. 
and you visit different companies. It's not like a do whatever you want, like, oh my god, we're going to have so much fun abroad. Like, you're going to have fun, but every single day you're visiting um, a different company. You just have off on the weekends to kind of like explore the cities and do what you want. So, I'm actually going abroad this summer. I got accepted into the study abroad program, so I will be going for two weeks. I will be vlogging literally everything. So, if you want to see more about my major, if you want to see what the study abroad program is like definitely hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram because i'm going to be vlogging every single moment as much as i can i can't vlog in you know l'oreal headquarters when they're presenting to us not want to miss out on it, so. that is basically everything i have to say about the major i'm gonna get into some questions now i asked on my instagram if anyone had questions and i had so many people reach out to me so now we're gonna get started on our q a sesh the first question is, is it hard? By the way, I would love to see a day in the life vlog because it's my dream course. Um, so this kind of goes back to what I was saying before. I wouldn't necessarily say it was, it's hard. But at nothing at FIT is necessarily super, super hard. I have found it manageable. It's not that bad. It's a lot of hands-on. You're doing a lot of group projects. It's a little time consuming with group projects and you have to really give your all, but I wouldn't say it's hard. For your um, recommendation of day in the life vlogs, I actually want to do that. I'm going to do a week in my life as a cosmetic student, just so you can see all of my classes um, because every the classes aren't every single day. So I'm going to do like a week in my life and I'm going to show like my classes. It's going to be a little bit more in the semester once things like kick up and like we're actually doing fun things. Uh, another question is, do you think it's helping you getting a step in the beauty industry? A hundred percent. Yes. Um, it's helping me get a step in the beauty industry because I know what I'm talking about. I walk in there and I know what I'm talking about. Um, I can apply my stuff from classes to the interviews um, and a lot of the professors have connections. So there's connections. It's helping me a lot. So I have to say it's a really, really good program. Uh, another question is how do you manage to pay the tuition? So um, if you haven't seen my previous YouTube videos, I'm actually a resident assistant on campus. What that means is I'm an RA on the floor. I'm kind of like a mentor for other students. You know, they move in, we teach them things, we help them transition to college, we hold programs for them, we do the bulletin boards in the hallways with helpful information for them. Uh, we meet with them, we're making sure that they, we make sure that they're transitioning to college okay, that they're doing okay in their classes, and we're just there to support them in any way that they might need, um, whether it's they're stressed about classes or anything. So we do a lot of work. Being an RA, a compensation you get is you dorm for free. Um, so I'm actually dorming for free, which is a great opportunity if you come to FIT. You have to be a student here for at least a year. So my freshman year, I wasn't an RA. I had applied and then I got into it. So this is my second year as an RA. Um, it's a really, really good opportunity if you love working with people, if you love helping people, if you're really passionate about the job. Um, it's a really, really good way to one, build your resume, your people skills, your communication skills, your problem solving skills, all of that good stuff that you can apply to any job. So I'm also a New York State resident. So currently my tuition is about 4000 I would say a semester. So I'm currently paying like 8000 a year, but it is being covered by loans. So I have student loans, plus my first year as a student, I had to pay for dorming. So I would say my first year altogether was about 24000 because I am an in-state student, but you can file for financial aid um, and all that good stuff. I don't know exactly how it works for international students or out-of-state students. You can contact FIT and talk to someone about it. If I'm an international student, can I attend the program without doing the associates at FIT? Yes, but I'm going to say it's going to be a little bit harder because a lot of students that have already been at FIT for their associates, they're going to apply into the program. Um, and then if you're coming from the outside, it might be a little bit harder, like I was saying earlier, because there's some prerequisites that have to be met. That's definitely something as well that you would want to call the school and talk to them about and weigh your options and ask that question to them. Uh, what courses do you have? What's your favorite? So I listed out my courses earlier um, that I took. Um, so far, I really liked the chemistry class. I felt like it was knowledgeable. We did some fun things. So far, that's probably been my favorite. I feel like this semester is going to be the packaging design because I love packaging. Um, so stay tuned on how I feel about that. Do you feel like the major is really challenging? I've addressed this before, not challenging in a hard way. I would say it is challenging you because, you know, you're learning and you're, you know, really soaking up different things and you're gaining knowledge. But I wouldn't say it's challenging that it's like I'm struggling. Do you enjoy it? How did you get into beauty? 
yes, I 100% enjoy it. I got into beauty when I was younger. I always liked makeup and I always used to play around with it. And then I restarted my Instagram account posting makeup looks and really, really getting into it helped me feel calm when I was stressed or anxious. What was the most important thing so far that you've learned from your major? I wouldn't say this is something that I've learned from my major. I would say this is something I learned from FIT and that is, and it's that networking is so important. Um, when you're here, you're going to network so much with other students, with faculty, and it's super important because it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. Um, so that's really going to help you get your foot in the door is who knows you and who's going to pass on opportunities your way. Someone said, is it chemistry based or business based? This is a question I had when I started into the major because I was like, I don't want to just do chemistry all day. You only take one chemistry class. You do a fragrance lab your senior year where you learn about fragrances and how to make fragrances and different smells, um, but it, I would say it's business-based. Uh, you just take these chemistry classes so you can have a better understanding, which is super um, helpful. It gives you a competitive advantage over students from other colleges who are just a business student that are going to be applying to the beauty industry. Do the professors help you out with jobs and such, or do you have to do it all on your own? I mean, this goes back to like networking. A lot of times they'll pass on opportunities to you, or you can ask them if they know of anything. A lot of times you get guest speakers that come in, and you can kind of network with them and be like, hey, are you looking for any interns or anything like that? Our career and internship center will help you your senior year. Like I said before, you get like an executive mentor and everything. Do you learn how to make the beauty industry more sustainable? We definitely talk about it. It's definitely really important, especially when we do projects um, with fake new product launches and all that stuff. A lot of times we always keep in mind uh, like sustainability and making sure that we're having less packaging and more sustainable options. Um, we don't necessarily learn like, well, here's some really new cool packaging that's more sustainable. Like, We don't necessarily take a class on that. That would be really dope if we did like a sustainability and cosmetics or something. Um, but we do talk about it and we do talk about the importance of it. Since it's a small major, is everyone friends or everyone for themselves? So we are pretty friendly. Um, I know all the girls in my major and guys, there's guys too. So it's it's really cool you really get to know everyone what made you choose your major my intentions were to come to FIT and do my first two years in fashion business management and then go into international trade and marketing when I got here I realized that I loved business but I didn't like the concentration in fashion um, so when it came to deciding what my next major was gonna be I was thinking okay I really love makeup is that something I want to go into um, what are the courses like in both and I talked to a lot of people from both majors um, I looked at the curriculum on FIT's website and kind of read through the classes and decided do I want to do international trade and marketing which is more like economics based and trade or do I want to go into beauty um, and I loved beauty what professors would you recommend um, when it comes to cosmetics and fragrance marketing there's not that many professors that we can choose on um, besides like the gen eds that you can choose on we don't really have that many professors for our major that vary it's like everyone gets the same professor for the courses because um, it's just a small major so they don't have that many different professors a lot of us are like in the same class or there's like only two sections of the class and it's taught by the same professor. What kind of jobs can you get with this major? There's a lot of different jobs. I mean, I can do marketing, I can do sales, I can do e-commerce, I can do social media, product development. And the last question that I have for today is my favorite and least favorite thing about the major. My favorite thing about the major is that it's just so informative, it's super helpful. We learn things that we actually apply to the industry, which I absolutely love. My least favorite thing about the major, I don't have a least favorite thing about the major. I pretty much love everything about it and I think it's a super, super great major. All right guys, so that is it for the questions that I received so far. I hope this was super helpful. If you have any more questions, either leave them in the comments, I'll get back to you, or go to my Instagram and just DM me a question that you might have and I will definitely get back to you. Definitely subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes of like every day in my life. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!